Now, a spike in coronavirus cases will send Madison County School System students out of the classroom full time through at least December 18th. This changes to a hybrid schedule. It starts on Thursday, December 3rd. And that means students will alternate between in person and remote learning to reduce the number of people in buildings at the same time. Way 31's Alexis Scott spoke with one parent who said her family's learning to deal with what are starting to feel like constant changes. Alexis. Yeah, I spoke with one Madison County mom who has three daughters who attend Monrovia Middle School. And she told me they haven't been in a physical classroom since, excuse me, they haven't been in a physical classroom together for more than two weeks at a time. And while her job allows her to work from home, she says this transition has still been a struggle for her and her daughters. I haven't had any issues as far as being able to do their schoolwork, um, but as far as not knowing whether they're going to be home or at school. We really just don't know from day to day. Casey Willis and daughters Allie and Josie say this year has not been ideal, but they're trying to make do. One thing that's working is the easiness of not having the girls' school work disrupted. They told me whether they're in school or working from home, in seventh grade, it's all the same. Or work on, like, the computer. Mm -hmm. Basically, the only difference for virtual school is that we're not sitting in a classroom because most of the work is, um, is it's all online. They tell you what the assignment is and then you get on the computer and do it. As of November 25th, the last time data was published, more than 1,600 Madison County students and employees are in quarantine for coronavirus and more than 100 have tested positive for the virus. The district said that's what led to the decision to go hybrid for all schools later this week. Five of the district schools already are on remote only learning due to coronavirus. That's Monrovia Elementary and Middle Schools, Endeavor Elementary, Meridianville Middle and Hazel Green High School. That impacts Willis's children and she says the strain is impacting their social skills. I did like normal school better, like um, actually like talking wise and all of that. Even though they get, they go to school and they are with their peers, the interaction is pretty limited. But still, Willis said she hopes this change keeps everyone as safe as possible. You know, safety is number one and um, they're all just doing the best that they can. Now, all now, all five schools that are virtual right now will remain that way until the principals clear them and then they can move on to the hybrid learning schedule. Reporting live in Madison County, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.